other day I was scrolling through my suggested videos on YouTube and I came across one of the content creators that I've watched some of the things that he's put out in the past and for the most part he's got a pretty good message but one of the one of the issues that I have is the way that this guy is has used the Bible and religion not religion spirituality and God's word and twisted it up to sell a narrative that is, has become commonplace. And as I've said many times before in my content previously, I'm not here to, I'm not here to make friends or gather a bunch of sheep and regurgitate the same message. And right now polygamy is a real, a real big topic because of the way that our culture has gone and instead of, instead of having men stand to and given good direction, what, what, we, what we have is the, the so-called alphas falling in line with a narrative that has, has been part and parcel of the destruction of America, our culture. And we have exported this, this disgusting culture that we have created, that we have fallen into to the world and uh, I, have a, I have a problem with that I have a problem with that for several reasons but the, but the main one is switching, switching things up in the Bible or taking things taking things in God's word and twisting them to fit the narrative that we want to have to the belief system that we want to employ and that's, a, that's, a, that's one of the major problems in religion in the Western culture in particular, because we have fallen away from the true word that is given, the instruction, the guidance that's given to us very clearly. And we have allowed men to confuse, to conflate, to change, and to bastardize everything that was instructed to men. And now we've got men that are supposed leaders, influencers, men that have an audience of men listening to them telling them to do shit that is absolutely abhorrent to God. Now, for those of you who don't want to hear this, by all means, you can remove yourself. I don't have a problem with losing subscribers or any of that because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you the truth. And the truth is, man has done what man has always done. Every time God, the Creator's given us a chance, an opportunity to do it again, what we do, just like the beginning of time, we take things and we make them, that we bend them to our flesh. And what we've got today is we've got men that are, that are bold enough to use the word of God to justify being disrespectful to God. Now, the demonization of marriage in Western culture is well known. It's propagated all over the place in the manosphere. You're a simp and all of these goofy terms that these ducks like to quack after one another. But nobody's really dealing with the, with the core issues. Men in this platform want to pretend that they're fucking kings and leaders, but our society is, is where it's at. So where are the kings and leaders? This echo chamber of bullshit is part and parcel of why we are here. Guys getting on here telling you, look bro, she ain't yours, it's just your turn. Over and over again, that is just selling fodder to the sheep. That's all it is. What we need is real men, not these fake bullshit alphas regurgitating the same monkey shit that's gotten us here. A man's imperative is to unlimited sexual boy. That bullshit has gotten us where we're at. Women are whores because men have subscribed to this. Oh, it's our imperative to go do this. Blah, 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 social engine. All of this bullshit in our culture has dictated this atrocity to the point where those who govern us are what we have today. And everyone likes to pick factions and fights and sides and, and all of this. But we are all in this together. We are all going to succeed or fail together. 
Now you can have pockets of, of alphas and high value and all this. You guys can all congregate with one another in your, in your echo chambers of bullshit. And for all intents and purposes, if that's all it takes for your, for your small isolated world to be okay, then continue to put your head in the sand and believe bullshit. Believe these guys that are characters on here. If a person goes over the same narrative over and over again, they have a character, you're watching a show. You're watching a fucking show. If every time a person has something to say, they want to go into a narrative where it is, it is a character, you're watching a show. This person is selling you an identity. And if this is what, how these guys act in the real world, they're not successful as they want you to believe. They can show you shit on paper and all that, but that's not real success in life. It's not real success in life. Misguiding men to follow you down a fucked up trail is not success in life. Believing that is your imperative to have two or three women because if you have one, you're a monkey shit. All of that is dumb shit from dumb, dumb fools. I dare call them men, but I won't be so disrespectful as not to because all of us have come to our own misguided views about the world and how someone else needs to fix things from the same programming, no matter where you're at, no matter where you fit in this paradigm. If men are supposed to be leaders, if men are supposed to be godly men, if we're supposed to be these things, then we need to be them for real. We need to be them in the real true word that was given to us not the word that is conflated to to mitigate any responsibility not the word that tells you that you need to be prosperous and happy and that the world is supposed to be easy that is a construct of man and it's bullshit these snake oil fucking venom preachers that are telling homos that it's okay to get married and women that it's okay to be men and whores and promiscuous and men that they should be beta male weak bitches all of this thing goes against the word of God. All of this goes against what we're supposed to be. But you've got people propagating this because if you follow the word as it is written, it is constraining to man. And that's the truth. We don't like religion because God requires responsibility. He, re he requires accountability. He requires us to beat ourselves in submission and not give ourselves to these fleshy lustful things but that's what we do that's what we do and in the manosphere I've been guilty of it myself I'm not smashing people for what I haven't done for all intents and purposes I've been the Chad Tyrone dude I I didn't know the role that I was playing because I thought that I was winning but as I was doing these things as I was spinning plates playing the field doing what I thought was the right thing to do my soul was being tormented my world was falling apart because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. Now, this isn't a religious rant. I don't give a shit about your religion. My point is this. The word of God gives man very, very simple rules of how not to suck. But we don't follow them. The Ten Commandments, as I've said before, very simple rules. But they're uncomfortable. They're inconvenient. They go against what we want. So when you look at these facts, these are facts. When you look at this, and the, this, is, this is truth. When you look at this truth, everything that we suffer, everything that we have, everything that we complain about, it is really truly what we want. Because we're not doing anything to change it. Demonizing the things that would make, make everything better. Demonizing that, poking fun of, or manipulating it to fit our fleshy desires it's not that's not the way that this works again it's very very important especially in this day and time for men to be very careful be very careful of who you listen to you this is a time where you need to be trying to find truth the truth is this if you're trying to navigate in this in this world of sin and you're playing sinful games, you're always gonna win sinful prizes. You're not going to engage in this system and do the things that have caused this system to end us where we are today. To think that to perpetuate the same behavior, to carry on the same beliefs, to subscribe to this ideology that everyone else is doing it so we might as well jump in. 
That is what fools do. It's not what men do. It's, it's time to really become men. Really become men. Stop waiting for someone else to fucking save you. Stop waiting for another man to guide you down a path that is not a true path. The true path isn't in a man-made religion. It is in the word of God. Follow that word and you, 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 your whole life will change. It's not, it's not, it's not fantasy. It's, re, it, it's just the way that shit works. But you can't really point to an example of that because we've gotten so far away from God's word, so far into our own comforts and desires, and our leaders have become losers. And that's why our population is the way it is today. If a person has the, if the person has the nerve to speak of God's word in out of one side of their face and then tell you to do sinful shit out of the other side of their face, you need to question the integrity of the men that you're listening to. We are in a spiritual war, men. No matter whether you want to agree with that, understand it, see it or not, it's what our reality is. What kind of soldier are you going to be? Are you going to be a soldier of God? Are you going to be a soldier? Are you going to be a real man of God? A man of, of, of agency higher than yourself? Are you going to continue to walk down the path of these fools leading other fools astray? The choice is 100% up to you. But you're not going to get out of this fight. Out.